Now, the leader of Hamas has spoken publicly for the first time since Israel's offensive on Gaza began more than two weeks ago. Speaking in Doha, Khalid Mishal said it's time for the siege on Gaza to be lifted. No one can disarm the Palestinian resistance. If you wish to do so, there are two conditions, ending the occupation and disarming Israel. Some would look at this as hubris. Why? The Palestinians are not any less than the Israelis. What are our demands? They are lawful demands. They've been presented to all the parties, the Turks, the Qataris, the Egyptians, the Americans, Mahmoud Abbas. We have presented our demands to all, and whoever is able to have them realized is welcome. I reiterate, it's time for the siege to be lifted. Well, Sami Zidane, our correspondent, was in central Doha listening in uh, at that press conference. What else did he have to say uh, to the international audience that was listening to him, Sami? So he made it very clear, first of all, that there's been no breakthrough. And he answered a question which I threw at him about reports. You might recall a few hours ago, there were suggestions that some sort of two-stage ceasefire deal was making progress. We heard from the U.S. Secretary of State his statements that the, the progress was being made. Khaled Mishal tonight said they had officially rejected the idea, as he put it, Wednesday afternoon. We turned down the idea of any sort of two-stage uh, deal, uh, 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 meaning the idea that there will be first a ceasefire and then talks later on when and how and if to lift the siege. He made it very clear that a siege, lifting of the siege, must be part of the end of hostilities. It must be part of the very ceasefire. I asked him whether he would had any indication from the United States that they would be willing to go down that road, whether they would be willing to give them guarantees about the lifting of the siege, because frankly, all diplomats tell you they are the only power right now in the world that would be able to sort of back any sort of uh, deal. Khaled Mishal said they have had indications indeed uh, from the U.S. that the U.S. would be willing to give those guarantees, but so far the stumbling block is that the United States wants those guarantees uh, as part of a two-stage process whereby the Palestinians must agree first to end hostilities along with the Israelis and then they could talk about how and when the siege would be lifted. And that was very clear from Khalid Mishal that that was unacceptable to Hamas. And of course, he was very clear, as you say, about the diplomacy that's needed or required in the future. But he was also very clear about the way he feels Hamas and other Palestinian factions have been fighting, as he would say, the good fight in Gaza. Absolutely. So you could say his mood was very confident. He felt that, as he put it, the Palestinian factions had surprised Netanyahu, surprised the world, surprised those powers which thought, as he put it, that Gaza would be the easy bite to swallow. He drew attention to what's been happening at Tel Aviv airport. Uh, as you know, that flights, uh, some flights have been disrupted and cancelled because of po a Palestinian rocket fire going towards uh, Tel Aviv. And he posed a question to Israel. He said, does Israel want a siege for a siege? In other words, if they disrupt life for us, we have the ability, despite, as he put it, of our, you know, our, how overbalanced uh, uh, Israel is in terms of military power, but we have the ability to disrupt life for them too. So a very confident tone and a very key message. He made a plea to Palestinians, be a little more patient. And while he did say, we do hope and everyone hopes that fighting would end yesterday rather than only today, but he did say, if anybody is counting on time, playing for time, thinking that the resistance is going to break, they're wasting their own time. He made it very clear that in, in, as far as he's concerned, as far as Hamas is concerned and the Palestinian factions, as he put it, they're willing to go on for days, for weeks, for whatever it takes. Well, we'll see how to end uh, the his speech here. Yeah, indeed, we'll see how his speech uh, has and uh, it is received by other uh, leaders in this very complicated jigsaw. For the moment, uh, Sammy, thanks for joining us from central Doha.